long behold, it finally took years for Google Fi to allow 5G to be available on iPhones. And this is crazy because, um, you know, since uh, 5G devices started coming out, uh, Google Fi has offered 5G connectivity to 5G capable devices, right? So, of course, big key thing there was that your device had to be 5G capable. It had to support the 5G NR bands. And um, a lot of Android devices were supported, unlocked devices, and even those sold through Google Fi. But the one that suffered the most, which I think was the one that if Google Fi wanted to be taken serious as, as a MVNO, um, they needed to provide support to iPhones. Now, I know that some people that are really, I guess, further diehard Google fans than me are going to say that, you know, it was a good move because Android needed the attention. iPhone always gets the attention. Android needed it. It was about time a company put Android first. Look, I'm not here to really kind of like push that type of jargon anymore. The fact is, is that there's people who like using iPhones. They're immersed in the Apple ecosystem and they shouldn't be exiled because of the type of device that they use. I mean, years and years ago when Apple was on top of things and Android was barely chugging along, we didn't like it when we called them ice sheeps would go into different chat forums and bully us around because we were Android supporters. We didn't like that. So why would we pay it back in, in, in the same way? To me personally, this is a win. I'm glad that iPhones are now supported for 5G on Google Fi. Don't know what their reasoning was. They never really said why iPhones weren't compatible when from the iPhone 12 to current has been able to support 5G. I don't know, but I'm glad to see that it's there. The steps are right there on the screen. You can see it. Go in there, update your iPhone.